Okay, I'm going to attempt to show uh, how I'm doing my ARP bolt swap. Um, earlier I got all the pistons and rods and all that stuff in and torqued down and uh, pardon the blood that you see. Um, one tip I will have for you is that the ARP bolts are 8mm bolts. The heads are not 10 millimeters. <laughs> Doesn't matter how well the 10 millimeter socket seems like it fits, the 3 8 10 point fits much better. <laughs> as uh, my knuckles can attest when the 10 millimeter let loose and made me punch everything. Um, the Everything I've read online, you know, regardless of the resizing and yada yada yada, um, you, sh you should have a stretch gauge to install these, which I do not have. Um, I know for a fact after talking to ARP and a couple other people that 40 to 45 foot pounds is where I want to wind up with ARP lube, which I have. Um, they also suggested doing one at a time. So I went through and installed everything just like I was going to use the stock bolt. So I did the 15 um, initial pass, 15 foot pounds, and then did the angle final torque. And, and now I'm doing one at a time. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a kind of tedious, kind of a pain in the butt. But essentially you just um, you know, get that old bolt loosened up all the way. And now you're going to run into something that probably read about if you haven't seen them um, and that's the rod bolt ferrules that come on some of these um, it might be the first design there's two designs first and second design and I think the ferrules are the first design but how I've been getting these things out it's pretty simple I take my uh, locking pliers and I just kind of find a comfortable spot to, to get a good grip on it here uh, without breaking more fingers and make sure you're turned so that it's not going to, you know, as soon as you put it down, it's not going to engage the thread. And I just kind of give it a couple pulls. And mine came out pretty easily. And that's, now you can see the, uh, uh, if my camera will focus. I'm not using the same camera. I had, uh, I ran out of storage, so I'm actually using a different camera now. And it doesn't look like it's going to focus. Anyway. It's basically just a little metal sleeve on the bolt. Um, bolt won't come out unless it comes with it. So, a couple tugs, that comes out fairly easy. I only had one give me a problem so far where the bolt actually came out and didn't come out with the ferrule. And the way I got it out was uh, I just kind of put the bolt back in at a little bit of an angle and just lightly pulled back and forth and it eventually slid right out. So, it might not be a problem uh, you run into. Uh, here's the ARP bolts. The part number I'm using is the 1346006. It's not the ARP 2000. It's just the, the standard uh, ARP bolt. And it's coated in ARP lube, including under the head. So I've just been getting that started. Get it to where it hits. Uh, my torque wrench right now is set for 40 foot-pounds. And... I don't know that this is necessary, but I've been uh, torquing it, and then I've been loosening it up a little, and then torquing it, and loosening it up one more time, and torquing it. Um, I don't know if that's necessary. Somebody else had mentioned that, I read somewhere, and I like to kind of take all the information I gather online and just kind of put it together. So, um, maybe I'll do one more right real quick here before I run out of hard space um, and again it, there's going to be from what I, I did a lot of reading on this and it's like 50 50 will tell you oh get your rods resized get your rods resized and, and, and I'm half wondering if that's just people's old school way of thinking um, not not necessarily saying that it's not something you should do uh, my actually my LS1 the, the motor that I took out uh, had its rods resized um, but when I actually interesting about that was is when I took the rods uh, and pistons out, the bearing showed uh, top and bottom wear consistent with what some people are claiming happens when you don't resize the rods. So, you know, and I've seen that before too. I, it's just that's what that's the you know the the most abuse takes place at those points on the bearings. Uh, I think if your I think if your tolerances are good. And the tune is good, and the motor is good, and everything was built, you know, reasonably well. I don't think you have a big problem, unless you really have something that's out of whack. 
So, uh, but, but anyway, oops, this is how I choose to do it. Um, only time will tell if it actually causes a problem or not, but let's, fingers, fingers crossed, let's hope it doesn't. <laughs> 